After installing the vConnect extension via the installer that you downloaded from the download link, open the Windows Azure Pack admin portal and click on the vConnect menu and select the settings tab. You will need to enter the database server name. Usually this is the same server on which the Windows Azure Pack admin portal is installed. If you choose to use the database on the same server as the admin portal, you can provide local host as the server name. Enter the required credentials. Once you enter all the needed credentials, you can now click apply default. This will register vConnect resource provider with Windows Azure Pack and also creates the needed database schema. If everything goes well, you will see the text resource provider is currently registered and ready for use. This concludes successfully registering vConnect and setting it up for further use. After completing the settings part, now you can start adding VMware host machines into vConnect. Click host tab on the vConnect and then click add. Enter the host server API endpoint that ends with SDK. Make sure to provide the HTTPS endpoint. Enter the host user ID and password that has admin access to the host. Click the submit button and this will add the host to the vConnect and from now on your users can create and manage VMs on this host. You can add one or more hosts in this screen and all the hosts will be used by vConnect. Now that you have hosts added, it's time to create a plan that enables users to use vConnect and the hosts in turn. Click on the plans menu and create a new hosting plan. Give a name and select vConnect as part of the plan. Finish creating the plan and once the plan is created, you can click on the plan and you should see vConnect in the plan services. Click on vConnect. This will show you and allow you to change the quota for vConnect and in turn the VMware host the total capacity the users can consume. You can modify this and then save. This will be the quota applied to all the users who are subscribing to this plan. Once you have the plan set up correctly, you can change the access of the plan to be public so your users can consume the vConnect through this plan. Once the vConnect and the plans are set up in the admin portal, users can now sign up for the service via the tenant portal. While signing up, after the sign up process is done, users can create a subscription or update an ex existing subscription to select a plan that includes vConnect. Click on the My Account, add a subscription and select the plan that we created in the admin portal that includes vConnect. 
once the user has created a subscription which includes vConnect service, now the user can create a virtual machine using the tenant portal. After creating a subscription, user can click on the vConnect tab in the tenant portal and then click new to create a new virtual machine. Select a name and a guest OS and enter the appropriate memory record and disk size and the CPUs and click the submit button. This will create a VM on a host that was selected by vConnect and it will be available for the user to manage and connect and um, use it. When a user creates a VM for the first time from the Windows Azure Pack Tenant Portal, in the background, vConnect chooses a host machine that is available and it sets up a resource pool that matches the quota of Windows Azure Pack subscription. It also creates a user ID with permissions to the resource pool and it gives access to the virtual machine resources via traditional VMware client tools. Thus, this resource pool which maps to a subscription in Windows Azure Pack serves as a container for the resources and also provides a security isolation. vConnect provides virtual machine management features inside the tenant portal for the users. User can click on a virtual machine that was created and they can do power management operations like turning on the power. This makes vConnect in the backend to talk to the host and turn on the power. vConnect also provides a way for the users to get the credentials for connecting to the VMware host with the restricted access just for the subscription. With this, users can manage their virtual machine resources using the traditional VMware client tools like um, vSphere client or command line tool. vConnect also provides an easy way to check the screenshot of a virtual machine. This provides a quick access to see what's happening on the VM. vConnect also provides ways to do turning off the power and it, uh, once the power is turned off, user can also delete the VMs.